I would say the Future Fit curriculum is essentially a program which helps us understand the interconnectivity between different parts of the conventional education system. A new initiative, a new curriculum of learning that takes place here at my class. Learning skills that help us attack major problems in the world. You're learning certain things for a reason to make a difference in the real world. Being equipped to navigate the future and what may come. Traditional schooling happens in silos. We feel that we need to better equip our students to be better human beings as well as fulfill their own educational potential. And in doing that, we, we, we're trying to really equip our boys for a future that we know is, 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 is rapidly changing, is uncertain. We're moving into a new age, an age of technology. We need to adapt with it. Understanding what the problems we may face and how we need to address those problems. How to approach problems and research and how to collaborate. We've dug deep in our discomfort as learners in order to provide a really good curriculum for the students. It was a pilot year last year. It was excellent, it was awesome. We learnt a lot. Um, there's lots that we'll, we'll, we'll adapt and change going forward, but um, there's, there's not a part of us that feels that we're on the wrong road here going with, with what we're doing. Well, we started off the curriculum in third term with a define and empathise phase. We first defined and empathised what that future might look like and how to analyse certain problems. We looked at something called the WEF Nexus, where we looked at um, how water, energy and food are connected. If you want to solve a water crisis, you have to look at energy and food. If you want to solve a food crisis, you have to look at energy and water. The idea of systems thinking and thinking about things connectedly. Systems learning was basically how one system can affect another by taking action. We live in a connected world, so why don't we learn in a connected way? We're lucky and so privileged to have a Macan Centre like this with all our different technologies and facilities. We essentially have tried to collapse the ordinary timetable and um, bring in a, a whole range of various subjects and look at uh, problems and challenges that we face in the world through a transdisciplinary lens. We are trying to bring the outside world in, um, as well as get our, our, our boys and, and staff to, to move into the outside world. My group, we focused on the economic point of view and we started a business or foundation that basically benefits the local communities. We partnered with Ligerson Community just down the road from my class. So our aim was to really give them the opportunity to increase that economic ceiling because uh, what we find a lot of the time in those communities is there's a lot of vendors, a lot of entrepreneurship skills and a lot of development and we just aimed to harness that. They can only sell to people around them, people that walk past the, um, their stores every day. So we brought up a solution where we can come take photos and list it up online. So it's a platform that allows community members to list and sell their products. That way people um, in nearby communities can also reach them. Some people selling services such as uh, making garments. You can reach a broader audience for lower prices and um, potentially even higher efficiency. So ultimately what we are doing here is to try and provide a purpose-driven curriculum, with the purpose being to provide a rigorous academic curriculum to help future fit boys for an interconnected society to serve, to think, to lead, and thereby meaningfully contributing towards a country, a continent, and a planet within which all life thrives.